Sometimes I put under pressure to really condense exercises just so people can get them done. And obviously those exercises are designed for that individual and what will work for one person may not work for the next. But generally there are some common complaints and weaknesses that I deal with daily. So I thought I'd put together the essentials that manage this. Who are these targeted for? Well, anyone who's driving, sitting at the desk a lot or generally feels that their body isn't as mobile as they'd like it to be. As with anything, the more amount of times these exercises get done, the body gets used to it and it'd be time to move on to variations and different choices. My first choice is the wall angel. This is an excellent exercise for posture. It works well with the rotation in the shoulder so when you reach back for something, nothing goes ping. It also works well in the upper back muscles which tend to go a little bit dormant when you're, when you're at the desk or driving. And also with the scapula area, this exercise can make a real difference to how you hold yourself, your posture, your poison, the air that you have about you. So standing against a wall with no pictures in the way, you can have your feet further away from the wall, then position your hips, make sure your lower back is flush against the wall, the shoulders too, and then pop the chin in a fraction. And then with your arms, slide them up against the wall, keeping contact, knuckles, elbows, shoulders, head, chin in, hold it there and lower it. Now this you can play with the angles a bit, you can widen the hands, you can have them in a diamond shape above your head or a little bit wider. Then keep your hands up there, keep the pressure before you gently slide them back down. This you're looking to repeat about four or five times, slowly up and slowly down. It should only take about a minute to do, but it might well be that you're finding it very difficult to either have any contact at all with the wall or you're just finding it absolutely fine, in which case you can move on to the next exercise. Our spines are designed to bend forward, a little bit backwards and sideways. But as ever with life, we don't use our given mobility in daily life. And if we do, it tends to be one-sided, like we don't throw a ball that well with both sides. We have a favored side. We don't unscrew a top with both sides. We don't write with both hands. So it's important that we keep this mobility before it becomes unused and we seize up. Now I know that the basics of a workout is to push, to pull, to bend and rotate but it's the rotation that often is most missed out. Bending the spine and its surrounding support in fibers and muscles is a really key move in my mind. So starting with the feet apart and soft knees, make a generous windmill movement of the arms, bend sideways, turning it into a nice C shape of the spine, leaning a little bit forward with it too, with the hand over the ear, and importantly, the lower arm wrapping round you as if hugging yourself gently. If you come back and forth about five times on both sides and you'll feel it lengthening out in the upper back and underneath the scapula. Do it both sides, so switch sides to do the same thing again. Be careful to keep your, your feet really far forward and your knees over your toes too. You can also amplify the move a little bit by tucking the leg behind and making more of a curtsy. So that means on the same side, same arm, same leg goes over, arm over and leg behind. There are loads of great exercises out there that have different purposes for different things, but I like one with a dual purpose which refreshes mind and body function in one. This next exercise might not be pec pumping or a power move, but it does incorporate balance. It helps integrate the left and right side of the brain. It helps with left and right leg strength, and it gets you out of your own headspace for a little bit. Something like this is dual awareness, the ability to maintain two aspects of experiences. Great for trauma, but actually challenging for everyone to start with. It keeps the mind in the here and now by taking us out of a mindset and drawing our attention to something else outside sort of the inner turmoil or even just a speedy heart rate. Standing on one leg with the toes and knees facing forward, make a diamond shape with the index finger and the thumbs. Now make a swooping, lying down figure of eight going up in the middle each time. Now, use that diamond shape as your lens. Fix your vision through that as you're going up and down 
in your knee bend. Make about eight bends on each side, keeping the toes and knees forward, really steady and slow, down and up. So working both legs singularly like this means that you're enhancing the strength and balance of muscles in each leg, which means the body won't compensate in everyday movements. It also helps a lot with your balance. And adding the eye focus and hand movement helps make more malleable pathways in our brain, and so enhancing the integration between the left and right hemisphere. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting and that you can do those exercises. If you did like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel as I upload every week. I'm